Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie Kay. Thanks so much for stopping by and today I have some kilt pin projects for you for my design team project for craft supplies for you and again for those of you who are new to my channel craft supplies for you is an online store that carries laces and trims, doilies, bling, appliques, different types of metal pieces, charms, some embellishments that we can use in all sorts of different crafts. There are two stores you can purchase items from from craft supplies for you. There's an online.net store and also a Zibit store. And there are also a number of social media sites for craft supplies for you that you can go and check out for more inspiration. I do have all of those links listed below in the description box along with members of the design team for craft supplies for you. And today I am focusing on kilt pins and I've done some different kilt pin projects to share with you guys. And the first couple are using laces and trims and then the last few are charms and beads. And so the first ones I wanted to share with you are kind of the shabby chic kilt pin snippets that I created. And Craft Supply For You does carry three different sizes of kilt pins. There's the large size, which is like this. They are five inches across. There is a medium size, which is three inches, and I'll show you those in a minute here when I get to those projects. And there is also a smaller size that you can use. And of course, you can create all sorts of things with these kilt pins. And a couple of the, again, a couple of the things that I created are some little snippets that I hung off of the kilt pins. And they just open up up there. And what I ended up doing is I just took a piece of material and I folded it over and I actually sewed it onto the kilt pin. And so the, here's the back sides. You guys can kind of see. I actually took um, my sewing machine needle and went around the whole thing to sew it on the back side. And so the front side looked exactly the same. And then, of course, I decorated it. And so I started off with this little shabby chic image from my stash that I had purchased from an Etsy seller. On the background, which you guys can't see, I did use some leftover laces and trims from Craft Supplies for You underneath. You can see this trim right here is a, kind of a dainty lace trim from Craft Supplies for You. And I love cutting this one up. So I have a little piece here and a little piece here. And then on top of it, she does carry this 3D um, loopy trim. And she has that in a number of different colors, but this is the cream color. And so I layered that on top. And in the corners, I just used some snippets from my stash. I also have some of the same lace from Craft Supplies for You underneath this section right here. And then on top of that, I did layer a Craft Supply for You brooch. And I did get this one in the design team package. It's a heart brooch. And if I gift this to somebody, they can easily take it off if they want to use it on something else or just leave it. This is just a remnant left over from another project. This top lace here, this dangle lace is from my stash. And then underneath it, I have this gorgeous trim from Craft Supplies for you. I'm going to kind of flip it over so you can kind of see the, the back side of it easier but that is a craft supply for you trim it is a really fun trim and then i just have some fringe trim underneath that from my stash and so that is the first little kilt pin project that i created this one again is a kind of in a shabby chic style the next one i created is in a shabby chic vintage style again using all sorts of supplies from craft supplies for you again this is the five inch kilt pin and they do come in silver, but on this first one that I showed you, I did ink this one with a metal fixative and I was able to turn it gold just so you know that they are easy to change the color of if you need to. And so again on this one, I use all sorts of craft supply for you snippets. This trim right here is from craft supply for you. This one back here was some older one from craft supply for you. I have an applique right here from Craft Supply for You in the corner and there's a flower in the middle of it. And this, this one I did choose to um, dye it and I had some walnut stain left over in my stash from a junk journal that I created. And so I used that leftover stain and I dyed it so it is a little bit darker. On top of it, I layered a couple of little doilies and these came from the doily grab bags that are carried at Craft Supply for You. And then also this gorgeous champagne colored ribbon rose is also craft supply for you. 
around the image, you can see that I have a doily layer and I just cut out the middle of that doily and I kind of made it, instead of being a round doily, I did glue it down so that it looked more oval to frame her better. And that again was a craft supply for you doily that came in the grab bag. This little white trim around the edge is craft supply for you and I added flat back pearls to it from my stash. And then I also added this craft supply for you charm of a rose. I did use just a little wire um, pliers to just cut off the top part that would normally make it into a charm just so now it's an embellishment. And then again at the bottom I kind of did the same thing that I did up here with just different doily pieces again from the top one I think is just uh, is one from my stash but the one underneath it was one from Craft Supply for You and again that applique in the background that I dyed is Craft Supply for You. This little piece hanging off of the bottom came off of a collar applique and it was just a leftover remnant I had from a past project so I added that and then I added the flat back pearls from my stash. And then the little bit of fringe trim that you see under there is also craft supply for you. It's one of my favorite little fringe trims out there. It's really soft. And that was just my last little remnant piece that I had in my stash. So I added that. And then I just stamped out the word dream on a piece of fabric that I had for right there. And so that's the second little snippet brooch pin that I wanted to share with you guys. And then I did go ahead and take one of her medium pins. Again, this one is three inches versus the five inch size. And I created another little kilt pin um, snippet. Again, using all sorts of leftover pieces from craft supplies for you. On this one, I chose to use this little violin charm. And again, I just cut off the little top part where you normally use it for a charm. The Ribbon Rose is craft supplies for you. A little bit of that fringe trim again, craft supplies for you. This little piece hanging here came from a larger lace panel from craft supplies for you that I had left over from a past project. The flat back pearl trim, which is one of my favorite things that craft supplies for you. It's kind of one of my favorite go-to items that I use a lot. That's craft supply for you. And this is a small little snippet of some Venice lace that craft supplies for you carries just left over again from a past project. And I did this one exactly the same. I just chose to use darker thread on this one when I sewed it. And this one, instead of doubling the whole piece up, I just um, layered the top part over and sewed it down just because it was just a little remnant piece of material that I had left in my stash. So that was the third one that I created. Next, I wanted to share with you guys some kilt pins that I use beads and charms on. So here's the first one. Craft Supplies for You does carry grab bags of charms along with sets of charms that have like anywhere between 6 and 12 charms in them. The grab bags, I, you get like 20 charms in those, I believe. And so if you look at this one, the beads all do come from my stash. The kilt pins are craft supply for you. This is the medium size, which is three inches. I think this is a perfect size for the, if you were to make a little brooch like this with the beads hanging off of it, it would be really cute hanging off of a junk journal if you had a fabric cover. Or also if you make your own little gift bags, these would be really cute hanging off on the gift bags also for some different ideas. And so Craft Supplies for You does carry some charms in the store. And I did pick up this violin one in my design team package and this rose one. Both gorgeous. I also used this rose one on one of the little lace and trim snippets that I just showed you a little bit ago. And then I picked up this little world one, which is fun if you're doing like a travel theme type project. And this one came in the grab bag. There is a grab bag available and I believe you get 20 charms in the grab bag. Each grab bag is different. And the grab bag that I got also had one of the roses in it also. And this one I kind of did kind of in a Paris travel theme. I used some charms from my stash. But I do know if you're looking for one-stop shopping, I did check and... In Julie's store, she does carry a, some camera charms and she also has some different Eiffel Tower charms. So if you kind of wanted to do a Paris theme one like this one that I'm showing you guys, she does have 
um, very similar charms in her store available. And so that was the first one I wanted to share with you guys. The next one that I wanted to share with you guys is a Halloween one. And yes, I do know it's spring and summer here. But I did receive a whole bunch of like Halloween charms in the grab bag. So I decided to go ahead and create a Halloween themed one. And so the charms that I got from in my craft supply for you grab bag were all the ones that you see here that are silver. A couple of these were bronze colored like this. I believe this cross one was bronze colored. And this hand one right here, this hand skeleton bone was also bronze colored. And I went ahead and added metal fixative in a silver color to them to match the other two charms. And the little bright orange ones come from my stash. But I thought this was kind of fun. And again, this would be fun to hang on a junk journal, a Halloween themed one. Very fun, quick and easy afternoon projects to do. And again, I just used wire for all of my beading on these so they do bend. And I just, instead of using jump rings, I just attached them directly, the wire directly to my little kilt pins from Cross Supplies for you. And then the last two I wanted to share with you guys were just some straight beads. Again, the kilt pins are Craft Supply for you. The first one, this one, I did dye, use that metal fixative to dye gold. And I just added some of these green and um, black colored beads onto that one. And then the last one is kind of a more summery spring looking one. And I added this yellow and kind of turquoise blue color to those ones with beads on that. My mom keeps on giving me beads that she picks up. And so these are some of the beads that she gave me not too long ago. So I just used them on these kilt pins. But they were really fun projects. Thanks again so much for watching. Again, you can pick up these cute little kilt pins at Craft Supply for you, along with many of the charms that I showed you guys. And again, the majority of these little snippet kilt pins that I created, all of the little fabrics and laces and appliques came from Craft Supplies for you. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.